In South America, there are several people called Jesus. In Israel today, there are several people called Jesus. In fact, Jesus actually came as the English translation of the Greek version of the Hebrew name Yeshua, Joshua. Joshua meaning Savior. You see that? So, in Jesus' day, when he walked this earth, nobody actually pronounced his name Jesus. He was not called Jesus. That's the English version of the Greek rendering of his name. So then, who's who? I said, the name is not the pronunciation. Anybody can call your name wrongly. But if he's talking about you, it's still you. It will be defined by the character or the authority behind the name that he's trying to call. So what was about the name of Jesus? Why do we use the name of Jesus? Why do we pray in the name of Jesus? What's the importance of praying in the name of Jesus? Why? What is this name of Jesus anyway? And something very interesting, they call him Jesus of Nazareth. Why didn't they say Jesus of Canaan? Well, Jesus of Bethany. There may have been several other Jesuses in Nazareth, but there was one that had made a name. Are you hearing this? Who was known as Jesus of Nazareth? Hallelujah. There may have been a Jesus of Bethsaida. Jesus of Capernaum. Jesus of Jerusalem. There may have been. And so they distinguished him by calling him Jesus of Nazareth. Now, how did he get that name Jesus of Nazareth? Hello? Come on, let's look at the Bible now. You ready, ready, ready? Say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready to eat the Word of God voraciously. Ha <laughs> ha. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 21. St. Matthew, chapter 21. And I want you all to read verse 11. One, two, go. Did you hear that? Who called him Jesus of Nazareth? Who? Who? Again? A neighbor? A friend? One of his relatives? Who called him Jesus of Nazareth? They called him Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Because Nazareth was a little town in Galilee. You know, some people say, why do they call him? Some people call him that man of Galilee. I love that man of Galilee. Some say, change it to that man of Nazareth. <laughs> no, you see, Nazareth was in Galilee. That's why they called him Jesus from Galilee. Nazareth of Galilee. Praise the Lord. Now, now you got to listen. You got to listen because you see, while I'm sharing the word of God, you got to listen. While I'm sharing the word of God, this word as you listen to it, will be healing your body. It will be strengthening your body. It will be energizing your body. And blessing you. Strengthening your faith. See, it's going to be working. Hallelujah! 
Oh, it's a miracle word of God. All right. So the multitude called him Jesus of Nazareth. They associated him with Nazareth. The multitude did. Why? Okay, look at St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 1. St. Mark, chapter 1. Y'all read verse 9. One to go. Did you hear that? It came to pass in those days that Jesus came. He came from Nazareth of Galilee. He came from Nazareth. He came from Nazareth of Galilee. To be baptized by John at the Jordan. St. So Luke's Gospel chapter 4. Jesus came from Nazareth. What was he doing there? <laughs> so Luke's Gospel chapter number 4. I want you all to read verse 16. Oh, stop. Did you see that? Now you can tell what he was doing in Nazareth from whence he came to the Jordan. He was brought up there. Did you see that? He grew up in Nazareth. That's what the Bible says. Look at it. That verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. This was after the, the baptism by John. And uh, he was driven of the, the spirit into the wilderness. You remember that experience? Now when he came back from the wilderness, he came in the power of the spirit of God. You see, and the Bible says he, he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. He was brought up in Nazareth. That's why they called him Jesus of Nazareth. He was brought up there. He grew up there. Of course you remember the 18 silent years the Bible talks about. We all know about that. You know, after he was 12 years old and then uh, he was taken away, sneaked away. Um, we didn't know what more until he gets to the age uh, uh, 30 before we know any more. Okay? Which means the Spirit of God was teaching him all that time. But now the Bible tells us he grew up in Nazareth. He grew up in Nazareth. What is it to grow up? How do you grow up? When you grow from your babyhood stage to age 12, can somebody say you have grown up? No. If you leave that country at age 12, we cannot say you grew up in that country. Where he was brought up, So it was in Nazareth. It's just the Spirit of God doesn't tell us much about what happened. He just disappears after age 12. In other words, there isn't any much writing about him all that period. And then suddenly he's 30 years old. So if you want to say, where was he? The Bible says he grew up in Nazareth. He was brought up in Nazareth. So evidently, Whatever he was doing, he was doing in Nazareth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody said he was learning uh, magical arts in Egypt. It's not true. He came back as a young child from Egypt. Because the angel came to his father and his mother while they were still in Egypt and said, Take the young child and return to the land of Israel. He hadn't been brought up. So he went back to the land of Israel as a young child, a young boy. Come on. You still there? Good. Okay, let's look at something else. Jesus of Nazareth. They called him Jesus of Nazareth. So we already saw the multitude associated him with Nazareth. They called him Jesus of Nazareth. Okay. And uh, in St. Mark's Gospel, after he had come 
after he had been baptized and his ministry had started, we find something here. This is Mark's Gospel, chapter number 1. You're looking at verse 24. Let's, let's read from verse 23. Are you there? Aha! Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. That was a demon spirit. So an evil spirit called him Jesus of Nazareth. The multitude knew him as Jesus of Nazareth. The evil spirits knew him as Jesus of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. So it's appropriate for us to pray and say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 